the quantity 15 squared root of 7 minus 8 squared root of 2 all divided by 4 squared root of 7 plus 9 squared root of 2. Well, remember, since this is a fraction bar, that also means that it's a grouping symbol because what I want to do is to multiply by something that will make all of the radicals in the denominator go away. In this case, I'm going to use the conjugate. So the conjugate this would, of this would be 4 square root of 7 minus 9 square root of 2. And if I multiply the denominator, I have to multiply the same for my numerator. So now I can think about this almost as two foilings, two separate problems there. So let's multiply the numerator, first, outer, inner, last. So we would have 60 radical 49, inner, so minus 32 square root of 14, outer, minus 135 square root of 14, and last, positive 72 square root of 4. And then for that denominator, my first will be 16 square root of 49, outer, the minus 36 square root of 14, inner, plus 36 square root of 14, and last, the minus 81 square root of 4. Now the key part here is, notice that this minus 36 square root of 14 and the plus 36 square root of 14, those are going to drop out. My other square roots are perfect squares, and so the square root of 49 is 7, and the square root of 4 is 2. So this becomes 16 times 7. This all drops out, minus 81 times 2. Notice again, all of those square roots are gone in that denominator. Up here in the top, I'm going to have 7, because the square root of 49 is 7. 7 times 60 is 420. I can combine these to give me minus 167 square root of 14. And then the square root of 4 is 2, so 2 times 72 would be 144. Combining my terms on top gives me 564 minus 167 square root of 14 all over 50 of negative. Now, I don't want to have the negative on the bottom, so I can actually move that to the top and then distribute that throughout. So my final answer would be negative 564 plus 167 square root of 14 all over 50.